We are doing box turns today, and there are traditionally two variations of it. One is a left box turn, one is a right. I wait to discuss or teach the right box turn until I see that my dancers have really gotten a firm grip as to what the box turn is in the left fashion and I wait until I see that our progressions are a lot smoother and we understand how the moves all work. So our focus for today is solely on a left box turn. Starting again with our box trot, we're moving in a big square now and our body faces each wall. Your head should always go to the left so that way you're spotting the next wall that your body will wind up facing. If I am the leader, my starting point would be here. I would move and keep my head to the left and I will wind up facing this wall over here. This would be my left foot. I step one. I bring my foot together on two, so that's my right foot. I step to the side, three, together on four. So this way, I'm now fully facing this side wall. I've made an angle. This is also how you can do a quarter turn when you're moving around the dance floor. From there, I have to move my right foot. So I'm now going to face essentially backwards from where I started and I'm going to step one and then I am together on two side three four so now I'm facing this way now I'm going to face outside so I step with my left foot one together on two side three, together on four. From here, I move myself backwards. One, together on two, side three, together on four. And I'm back exactly where I started and I'm facing the exact same way as to how I started. From a follower's perspective, again, you would be doing this together, so you would be moving in a box together. We would step backwards here with our right foot on one. Now, because of how we're moving, we'll be facing backwards. So we'll be facing this wall over here. We step together on two, just like our partner. We step side three, and we're together on four, all facing this wall. Now we're going to step forward with our left foot, similar to how the leader started the box step. So it feels a little weird sometimes for our followers. So you step forward at an angle with your left, one, together on two, you both move sideways three and you bring your foot together on four. Now your right foot cuts an angle diagonal backwards. One, two, you move to the side three, you all move together on four. Now you step forward with your left foot at that angle, together on two, side three, four. This is where it really becomes imperative that you understand that when you are doing anything in the social dance ballroom setting, whatever you do with one foot, you have to do with the other. Ballroom is essentially walking, but with some extra footwork in there. When I say this, I mean the fact that our ladies, you always start with your right foot, but you have to also do a move on your left foot as well. So you you start the move moving right foot backwards, you do your side steps for the box trot. You move with your left foot to go forward or what have you. And that can be a real challenge to wrap our heads around because 
we hear that we need to start always with our right foot or our leaders always start with our left foot. So when we go to move the other foot, that can really be a challenge for us because we are trying so hard to focus on what foot we start with. You need to see that this is an entire step. You cannot view it as starting a new step every time you face a new wall. You have to see that this is one complete step. You will have done your right side, left side, right side, left side if you're a follower, vice versa if you are a leader. A box step seems to be a bit easier understood when we learn the waltz. Reason being, we all just take one step and then we just step to the side. We take another step, we step to the side. That one step is the step that allows us to change our direction. So we step into it and that's our turn. Then we're side together. We step into the turn, side together. Step into the turn, side together. Step into the turn, side together, and you're back exactly where you started. Even when I'm teaching our ballroom classes, I traditionally actually start teaching the left box turn when we get to walls because it's easier that way. We'll backtrack from there and then learn how to put that into the foxtrot perspective. So I wanted you to kind of see both sides of this and understand how the movement overall works. I will see you tomorrow as we talk about our weaves. I will see you then.